Hello YouTubers, Hemi Technoid here. And today we are back into the repair man cave. <laughs> and this is the mirror tape view of my Pioneer CTF-1250 that I have been working on. And if you recall the last video, uh, it showed the mirror image, the mirror tape view like I am right now and it had what I thought to be at the time an okay uh, tape path but it was not good because I could not get the azimuth adjusted the uh, Lissajou pattern on the O-scope never quite got to the diagonal that it should have and um, there was a problem there was an issue something was the issue and it came, I came to find out through the blessing of the Lord that he gave me the wisdom after I prayed and sought him to figure out what the heck was wrong with this cassette deck and doing that it had to be something mechanical and I thought about it and prayed and the Lord gave me the 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 idea that it might be the rubber pinch roller okay so I went on to some forums and I found out that yeah that is a common problem with the CTF 1250s that the, the pinch rollers can cause issues so what I did is I took the pinch roller out and here I'm going to throw up a picture and if you can see where the arrow is pointing you can see that there's like a little divot there is a groove in the rubber and that was causing the tape to skew okay so what I did is I got out my handy dandy Dremel tool and I took to it and I, I burnished that surface down as smooth as I could but this was after I had soaked it in some methyl salicylate okay that's the key there you get some methyl salicylate which is essentially wintergreen oil and uh, you get and it also is in the rubber renew that uh, that's one of the main ingredients in rubber renew that I used and you soften the rubber and then you get it to expand okay the rubber expands and then you can see all the, inf the, the, the you know the bad things about the rubber they, they, they show up real easily so yeah once I got the rubber to expand I could see where the groove was and I took my Dremel tool to it and I burnished it down as best I could and I tell you I could have ruined that thing so many times but the Lord got in my hand he held me steady and I got it down to a good surface it's a smooth surface I'm show you the picture of the smooth surface now it's there's no divot at least not that much of a divot you might be critical and say oh I Sammy tech I still see a little but you know what it doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you the proof of the pudding right now that's what we've been looking at we are looking at the tape path in the mirror cassette and I'm gonna hit it up I'm gonna hit pause play and we're gonna play and watch there is no deviation there is no skew that tape is rolling smooth as it needs to be okay and once again praise the Lord look at that that is one smooth tape path there is no skewing and yeah you compare that to the previous skew video that I have put up and man this is smooth as silk so yeah we are grooving man we are grooving we are grooving <laughs> so anyway I just wanted to show you that this is what happens when you trust the Lord <laughs> okay so until next time see you later